Hey guys, it's Rosie. Today I'm going to be starting making Harry Potter robes because I went to Universal a couple months ago, I think, like a month ago, and I really enjoyed it, but I wish I had robes. So I just decided I didn't want to pay a hundred bucks to buy them, so I'm just going to make them. Um, today, we, we just got back from New York City, and we got uh, some fabric there in the garment district. So we went to Pacific Trimming to get like buttons and clasps and chic fabric to get the actual fabric. Um, we got a really good deal. So we got this little like clasp thing to hook it together. And I got this cute little horse bit because like, I don't know, 250 That was cute. Um, so we got this satiny fabric for like the actual robes. I think it's four yards and it's 60 inches. And then we also got, it's like the same fabric, but it's um, more burgundy. Um, two yards of this, I think. And then also there was this remnant and the guy was really generous to give it to us for $20. It's like this really sequiny, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's it's just gorgeous. And we're going to line the hood with that. It's not in the pattern, but we just decided, hey, why not? So I'm just going to throw them the wash, and then tomorrow I will get started making it. So here we have all of the fabric. Um, I washed it yesterday, and here's the pattern. It is Simplicity Harry Potter, uh, number 87. 2-3-A, I think. Um, you cut it all up already. You got to measure yourself, pick your sizes, or whoever you're making this for. Here's the black fabric. It is big, shiny, not too thick. It's pretty breathable. Um, just smooth, kind of silky. I don't know what kind it is. The red is the same kind of fabric, just red. And then we have this beautiful, like, lacy, it's like on tulle, sequins, embroidered, really pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay them out on the floor. Now I'm just going to um, get out the pattern and lay down everything. So one thing that we are doing differently is in the hood, the lining of it is going to be both sides black. So like the outside's black, the inside's black. And then we're going to cover it with this fancy fabric. So it's just going to be a little bit of flare. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these out.
so much for watching. I really, really enjoyed making these robes. It ended up taking me about four months off and on making these because I went on a lot of trips and have started school now, so I haven't had a lot of time to work on them, but I'm very, very happy with how they came out. I really hope I'm going to be able to wear them to some wizarding con. I think that would be very fun to see all the other people dressed up in costumes they've made. Um, actually, there's one near me next weekend, so I really hope I can go to that. Um, yeah, here's the final look. I just have this patch, Gryffindor patch, that I bought at, um, at Universal, and then this tie that I found at Goodwill or something. Um, it does have blue on it instead of gold, but I think the blue does go well with the red on it. I also ended up putting in a wand pocket as you saw um, that was not in the pattern but I think it really adds to the look so yeah um, thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe and comment down below what your favorite thing about this project is and I'll see you guys later bye